All right, so Karina and I just got out of the bath a little while ago. My baby is all dressed. Karina did awesome in the bathtub, right? Oh, my baby. Here. James went to bed around 7.30. So uh, he wants to be up around noon. Today's supposed to be our family day. We're supposed to be going down to the park and walking around and going maybe to the swimming hole and going swimming and um, all this stuff. I actually put a diaper of Karina's, the one that she was wearing, actually. She crawled into the bathtub with me, um, into the bathtub. And it gets really, really full. So, like, my child has never really had um, a full diaper before. So I was just wondering, like, really how big it would get. I guess I'm gonna make dinner. I'm making spare ribs. I'm making mashed potatoes with green beans. And we have to do your baby can read. I want my child to take a nap so I could get um, some of the stuff inside. I bought the. I got the um, two end tables inside, but I also want to get the desk inside before. Oh, I guess that's not the way it works. Oh yeah, it is. All right, I'm gonna have some yogurt, and um, I'm gonna do your baby can read with my Karina. She has a running nose, so I have to wear pants. Because, well, right? Because you have a runny nose, so I put you in pants. Erilyn had a runny nose yesterday, and Eva thought that she was teething. Apparently, she might have had a little bit of a cold, so no big deal. The, the runny nose is clear, so I just wiping it and cleaning it out so um we'll see how family day goes i mean james isn't really around a lot james works a lot and um, when he is home he likes to go fishing and we went to the fishing with him yesterday but i mean that doesn't really work out well i didn't think that it would because i mean it's so small and the fishing poles with the hooks so. you dragging a cup along with that good job so, I mean, I didn't really think that it'd be like, oh, look at this, we're going fishing with Papa, this is going to be fun. I don't think that's going to be fun until she's around like four or five and more independent and able to have like a sense of direction and a sense of, ow, this hook is going to hurt me, I'm not going to touch it, you know. Maybe she'll be able to fish herself at four or five, but until then, I don't think it's going to be any fun for her. Yay. Who knows though, maybe she'll be fishing at three. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna do your baby can't read. Okay, it's 11.46 right now. I didn't know if it was that late. We got up at seven. So... James was up for a little while with us and he went to bed. And he promises today is a family day. So every Sunday from here on out is supposed to be a family day. So um, maybe every other Sunday? I'm not sure if he's saying every Sunday or every other Sunday. But um, he finally wants to be like a part of this. And I think that's really cool. So because he hasn't really been a part of anything really since she's been born because, well... He's a guy, and she's little, and, like, he keeps saying, well, when she was little, I didn't know what to do. So, I'm like, what do you mean you didn't know what to do? She's a baby. You take care of her. Like, like he was, like, completely lost holding her, even. Like, he just didn't know what to do. So, that's why babies have mamas, though. Right? So, that's why babies have mamas? Because mamas know what to do. Mamas take care of the babies. All the mamas take care of the babies. At least they're supposed to. And, um, you know, but, so I, I'm really, like, he said it before. He said it when she was, I want to say, how old was she around Thanksgiving? Around Thanksgiving, he was really like, I'm going to go about this now. I'm going to be involved with this. You know, I'm going to help out with this. Like, and he didn't, but he was really like, right around Thanksgiving, he's really going to go about that. And, um. No, obviously he didn't. He did watch the videos. He goes fishing and goes to work and does his own thing and goes out. But I think now that she's a year, though, I think he's finally ready to be, like, 
a little more involved. So, in the beginning, we fought a lot because he was trying to tell me how to parent her without being involved and without, like, he even said, I have no idea what I was doing. So, like, why were you trying to tell me when I felt sturdy and stable in my environment and what I was doing, what to do with my child? Like, I get that it's his child, too. But, I mean, if you have a man there who is clueless, <laughs> And trying to give direction when I like when he had her I was like oh you have her I'm going go and go take a shower and that didn't work out well because he was complaining that oh you know I have to I have to stand with her and she cries with me and she doesn't want me she wants you and so I asked him to watch her while I was showering a few times and then after that I just took her in with me and we would shower at the old house and then she was three months old when we moved here and then we had a bathtub I'm like this is so much easier so I just bathed with her like life got so much easier when we moved here right hi so i mean i really like living here and there's there is another apartment that opened up though i might actually move we might be moving in a few weeks and i'm not sure if we're actually going to i need to be able to see the apartment and stuff like that but we might be moving it's literally just move but i like this house i like the house i like my cabinets I like the window locks, like, I like being on the first floor for a lot of reasons. There's other, like, disadvantages to that. I don't have as much privacy as I would like because I'm on the first floor all the time. But, um, it's really easy with groceries. It's really easy to save for my child. There's no stairs that she's going up and down. We only need one baby gate in this house for the bathroom so that she can't get into Squish's litter of food. And I got that baby gate over the weekend. But... We definitely need this baby gate, though. I was so happy when I saw it. I put it in my pile. I'm like, this is mine. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I got a baby gate. I got another car seat. I got two end tables. I got a desk. Mm. Oh. And I got a pine tree. That was about it. I didn't really go through anything else. Oh, I got a fanny pack. And I got a chair. Like, um, a fishing chair for the guys. So now we have a blue chair and a black chair, so both guys can sit down when they're fishing. They have to stand, they have to sit on the, their, um, fishing boxes, tackle boxes, you know. So they each have a place to sit, and that's pretty awesome. They were using them yesterday when we went down fishing. I was like, oh, you guys are using the chairs, I'm so happy. Because, you know, they need a place to sit. Mmm. Let's see. That's it, that's all I got. I got some clothes, I got... I got like a small pile of clothes. It's not even enough for a load though. And um, yeah, so that was the mommy market on Saturday. After the mommy market, we obviously went to the festival. And then we went out, we ate. And then we went to another festival. And then we went out to James's fishing spot. I didn't realize how far away they were going to go fishing. It's like an hour away. No, it's not. It's like 45 minutes away. And, um, yeah, so yesterday was a really long, really fun day. And, um, uh, today it's raining out, but we are supposed to be going to Fisher's Park to take a walk. I'm going to make a really nice dinner. And tomorrow I'm going to worry about cleaning the house up. I'm gonna do the dishes. I'm gonna. I'm doing the dishes today too, but I need to do the clothes. I need to do a lot of clothes tomorrow. Uh, I have some appointments tomorrow I have to be at. Mm. So tomorrow should be a really fun day too. All right, this is just a video about me rambling about the past and present, and yeah, I think I'm just excited for today. I'm excited for James to want to be involved. As he always says, he's like, oh, I'm always away, I'm never home, and, and but you choose not to be home, you know? And he tells me I don't want to go to my activities with me, that I set up for Karina every weekend, because they're boring. It's like, honey, they're kid activities. But he won't go. He won't go on Saturdays. But, like, all this stuff is, like, before he wakes up anyway, because he wakes up around 5 p.m. on the weekends, normally. And 
like everything is from like 10 a.m. or 8 a.m. to like 4 p.m. and everything's closed after 4 or 5. So he'd miss all the kid activities anyway. And I don't want her to miss them. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, well, this is the end of my video. I'm sitting here, I'm eating a yogurt parfait and um, watching my girl play with a slinky and just talking. So that's it for my update. This is what we're doing.